Hi everyone and welcome to today's session. I'm still Thomas and I'm still here at Lango Learning System being a fantastic IELTS teacher. Recently I've realised that there is an incredibly popular and trendy music video in Vietnam. Do you know what it is? Well, I'll put its cover on the screen here. I really like the melody and the lyrics as well. So motivated by this and my students' enjoyment, today I've decided to introduce some vocabulary related to the topic of friendship. Let's get started now. Number one, when you've got a good friend who always cares for you and sympathises with you, we would refer to them as a close friend. When I joined the English club, I quickly found a close friend, Mary. Number two, to enjoy each other's company. You like to spend time next to each other. Couples often chill out at a cafe to enjoy each other's company. Number three, a person who only shares with you the happiness and the good times, the successful times, but they ignore you when you fail. How could you describe them? Yeah, I would say that they are a fair weather friend. Since he went bankrupt, he realised that all the people who he helped have deserted him. <laughs> I guess they were just fair weather friends. Number four today is, well, friends are like your second family, right? That is to say that your friends love you and they make you feel comfortable. For increasing amounts of people, their friendship groups are replacing their family units. My parents were pretty abusive when I was growing up. Luckily, I left home and now my friends are like my second family. Number five today is to get in touch with someone. Well, this is pretty simple, right? It means you keep in contact with someone. Although I moved to New Zealand many years ago, I still get in touch with a group of classmates by making video calls every month or so. Number six, near and dear to someone. Very important to someone. From an early age, parents are the nearest and dearest to most kids. Number seven is a shoulder to cry on. Someone who always sympathises with you and listens to your <laughs> sorrow. I'm really lucky in that whenever I have a problem, my mum always offers me a shoulder to cry on. Number eight, to be something through thick and thin. You experience the good times and the difficult times together. Having gone through thick and thin for 10 years, my best friend Tim and I always express understanding and sympathy. Number nine today is to be well-matched. This means that you share common interests with another person. They're a really well-matched couple. They're both really geeky. Finally today, number 10, to drift apart. This means that you become less close to someone than you used to be. Since she moved to the city, we have drifted apart from each other. I really hope that you found this session helpful in preparing you for your upcoming IELTS test. Don't be nervous, revise and study, you'll be okay. If you want to sign up for courses here at Lango to help you, please click on the link below and our IELTS professionals will help you achieve the best grade that you can. Remember to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button because you get notifications of all our uploads and it shows really, really big support for us. On behalf of everyone here, myself and the team, thank you for joining us today and hopefully I'll see you again.